Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. I am your narrator, Frank Avella. Here we're going to take a look at some of the most successful math teaching activities. Teachers create a large number line on the classroom of the floor. They can use masking tape or something else. And they have students start adding and subtracting through movement. There are nine open boxes on a tic-tac-toe. And each box has an equation or a problem that the student must be able to solve in order to be able to mark their X or their O. Next is the game of war with math. And there are many variations. Uh, one example is the teacher has a flashcard with an addition problem and the students must give their answer using playing cards. There are numerous online math games for students of any age or any grade. There is even a math Minecraft game which is designed to engage students and help them learn upper level math activities. I remember playing the quadratic formula song each year for my students. The singing along would help them memorize and as time went on I began asking students to make their own songs for their formulas and rules. Math journals are often used in middle school and high school. Students can reflect on specific problems, describe their feelings about upcoming standardized math tests. Uh, one interesting activity for very young students is to take them out for a nature walk and have them count the flowers. For older grades, have them calculate trigonometry shadow problems using sine, cosine, etc. Math Bingo is a game that can be tailored to any grade level. Uh, you can buy them online or you can make your own. You must give out prizes though if you really want any engagement. When students learn about the coordinate plane, a great activity is to have students plot points in such a manner that they create images and figures. Uh, some examples would be constellations, shapes, animal faces, etc. Elimination tournaments in math are a type of gamification. Have students verse each other on recalling math facts. Whoever answers the facts first advances to the next level. The next activity I feel is very important because students today don't really know how to tell time with an analog clock. So have students create a paper plate clock. Poster board presentations are great for any subject, especially math. Have students solve a math problem and then have those same students present their problem to the class as if they were the teacher. Another activity for teaching math involves having students look up prices for things they want to buy. Then have students calculate the sales tax associated with that item. Learning centers are great for mathematics differentiation. With learning centers, there are a number of different activities taking place at each table. Students rotate the tables and learn different content. When younger grade teachers are on the topic of geometric shapes, ask your students to hunt for shapes in real life and then identify those shapes. It's always great when you can make real world connections. Candy math or food math incorporates edibles into the lesson. Students can do sample size and probability using Skittles and Starburst. At the end of the lesson, allow the students to enjoy the candy. Measurements are needed in the real world. Allow students to get up and move around by assigning them the task of measuring objects in real life. And lastly, the students that love math will probably also love to do puzzles and riddles. So why not combine them? Anyway, right now I want to say thank you for your time. Please check the description for resources related to mathematics teaching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And please like and share this video as well.